Welcome back fellow busy professional. In this video we will compare the different whiteboards between Heptabase, Miro and ClickUp and in which situation I'm using what. So let's dive in without further ado. Here we are inside Heptabase and then let's start with a card and the moment you double click on a whiteboard and you create this card it is a note itself. That's the title for this note and if you go to the card library you see here there's this card, I can click and open this, I have this as an individual note, I can add information. When I go back to this demo whiteboard, you see the information got updated. I can close this card so it stays small and tidy. I can open up the card on the sideboard. I can close this here so I can have focus for the text. I can keep adding text and I can create another card just with a double click card two and now I can connect them together and this is visually so this was very quickly uh, how I did this is this arrow you can use command plus two and it will quickly switch see to this and now I have this and I can connect it this way and that's already one of the things that you will see is not possible in Miro when you connect this together these are cards that you visually connected but if we go to the info now you see here it even got in the backlinks connected too and that's very powerful because you can keep thinking visually but once you open up this card individually later on you still have the context down there oh i actually used this card on this demo whiteboard so with a click of a button it will go there but also it shows me i connected it to another card card 2 in this case and the direction of the connection so we did it in both ways so this means if i click there it shows me directly the connection but it goes further than that because if we zoom in and we double click on this we can add text there is a reason for this connection right and when we open this up on the side panel too, go to info you see down there there is a reason for this connection so the moment i keep writing you see it's updating there so i not only see how it's connected but even the text that i add that to the connection will show up inside the node and that's very powerful the downside of using heptabase at least for now is the visual representation of the maps and how i connect these things because i can only add them into the center like this and the moment i have more things that i want to connect let's just duplicate these so the moment i have a lot of connections going on it becomes a mess because now i want to connect this here so one thing is see it makes these strange things whenever you see this there are the the dots you just double click on them it's deleting it so you can move this around the moment you start moving you can move this around and you have some flexibility but it always ends up in the space if you want to get rid of this double click double click double click see it's fixed however now let's say that this board is going into this board and if i do this then i have this and it messes up with my visual representation also obviously in the back end it's still correct but what i want to have is i have one thing going out from here and the other one going in here and not having the overlap i think there would be a fix so for example they could develop that the moment there are two connections coming in and going out it automatically separates them on the card so I don't even need to manually do this, but it would automatically do this. I think there are solutions that they could implement, but it's not there yet. Another thing is that when I select everything, I'm just selecting the cards, but not the arrows. So if I want to select many of these arrows, it's not possible. And if I want to make changes to them, the color, which is also limited to this set of colors, it's also not possible in bulk. All right, so I have to each individually now change this, change here, the type of the connection, change here, you know, the things here. And the moment I start a new one, it remembers what I picked up last, actually the color change here, and then the type of connection that we did here, and then the dotted lines, you see, but this is it. That makes it in complex boards very complex to handle quickly to update this. And I think that's a good point to go to Miro to show you now this in comparison. Now here we are inside Miro and let's just try to replicate what we did in the Heptabase board. So I have first of all the sticky notes, all right? That's not something we have in Heptabase. Also something that I want to quickly show you going back to Heptabase. If I drag and drop an image into this, and then we have the image in here, you can do this. But then 
If I want to make this smaller, this is the smallest it can go. So visually really adding things and moving things around and adding makes no sense in Heptabase doing it this way. So if you compare this now to Miro, here I drag in the same logo and I boom, have full flexibility about this logo. In fact, I have even more things that I can do with the, you know, remove background with the AI and uh, I can perfectly manage how to organize this. And also there are things in Heptabase that I can use to organize these, the structure. It's so much easier in Miro. So when I use this, I can resize the whole thing. I can rearrange it this way, this way. I can right click and I can move the layer. So I have layers in here and I can even open up then the layers, see? And then I can change the layer. I have full control over the different layers. So that's much more laid out for brainstorming without friction. Then the next thing is I can also connect the things together. But here's what I told you in the other one. I can now move this along this and bring out another one in here, right? That's exactly what I just told you that I'm missing in Heptabase. See, just boom, another image. So Miro is really a lot more visual, but there are no notes. Okay, I'm not creating notes. Also now they have even the features that you can create docs in here, right? And you can have a title and you can take notes and all this thing. And you can also open this up. It's no personal knowledge management system. It's just simply a doc that I created there and they might go down the road with like Google Docs and Google Sheets because you also have tables and things like that. But it won't replace what I have inside Heptabase because the moment I created a card there and it's a video, I can add this to a database and I'm just growing my knowledge base this way versus here, it's on the board and it's meant for brainstorming, in my opinion. Now I have these connections, I select all all of them and I have the option to filter by object. So when I go here, I can click on the connections. Now I have the connections and now I can change all of them at once. And that's such a time saver when you want to change something later on without the need to go through each connection individually. Another thing is that I think is really powerful, you know, the, the confusion that you saw on Heptabase, you can just go here and add line bumps. And what it does, it makes this visual representation. So I immediately see, oh, this is not actually going to the right. This is going through and this is going here. And these are really the things where you see this tool is really made for creating workflows. Because if you go here, you see more shapes. And then here you have whole things for flowchart, for connections, the whole BPMN system. So you can have in here to really lay out complex processes and workflows. That's something I would never do in Heptabase because it's not meant for this. So here you, I can really create visually pleasing maps. And you see here, I just bulk added all these icons at once and it laid it out exactly this way. And now I can select all of them and I can rearrange them this way very quickly, very powerful. I can resize all of them very quickly. You see the performance, it's not stuttering anything. And that's why I would never to think about complex problems, go to Heptabase. Well, in fact, the uh, YouTube strategy is a complex problem, but there it was more important for me to write the text around it and collect the information this way than going in here. Also, I always think about, will it be stored on a long term that I need later? And then I will add this to the Heptabase rather, if it is for me personally, or is it something that I share with the team? So if you go, for example, into the automated CRM map here, here you can see how I thought about how we can actually centralize our CRM system. And instead of using active campaign, using Airtable, that might be confusing to you, but that was the whole thought process using only Miro because it was so complex and doing this in, in Heptabase would make no sense. You know, also making these maps where everything, you have a lot more information going on, but then also having the links here. So you can add links to each individual object to either link to another object or external things. So here's Sapia with one click of a button, it will open up Sapia and this SAP that just shows me exactly the automations going on here. If you want to see more about how I used Miro to lay this out, let me know in the comments below. Happy to share more details about this. But I just wanted to show you this because you you see we can go really complex in Miro. Now let's go into ClickUp and see what they have with their whiteboards.
All right, now with this in mind, what we just shared here, let's have a look at whiteboards inside ClickUp and compare it to Miro and Heptabase. And this is where we think ClickUp just falls short. They launched whiteboards a long time ago. It was very clunky. There weren't much features. It, the performance was really bad. But I always saw the superpower that you can add tasks here. Now they've made several iterations and they improve performance a lot. And we can, you know, make these fancy things. We can make very easily the work streams too. And it might make sense for you, if you don't want to use another tool, to use ClickUp for exactly this, you know, to have the process steps. And we might start adding it here too. But the thing is creating the process steps and so on inside Miro is so much easier. And then doing the effort to lay it out in here in addition, again, might be not worth it. Again, it's up to you because if you want to have the team just working inside ClickUp and having then the whiteboard that represent your work stream, that might be a solution for you. But you see, if I, I keep clicking right, because to me for Miro and in Heptabase, that's the thing to do, to use uh, right click. But obviously with the pressed spacebar, you can move things around. You have here now the option to add the tasks. I can use this to add very quickly the videos to this whiteboard, how they really improve the performance. I have to admit this. I'm curious when I connect these things together, if this is actually represented inside a task. I can open up the task and going here, no, but this would have been awesome if I would see now the connection. So again, missed opportunity. And this connection is something I mentioned the, the day they launched the whiteboards. The video that I published there, I talked exactly about this, how awesome it would be if the visual connection would be re represented in the connection of the tasks. And that's something Clicker provides. You can mention other tasks and you see the connection between the tasks. So why not adding this feature here? ClickUp, if you're watching, tell us why. You also have the option to draw on there. That's something you can do, by the way, also on Miro. You can use your iPad and draw on there too. I mean, Heptabase, they are adding now this feature too. You have templates, something I never use, right? Because they have far too specific and I have to do much more work to clean the template up instead of just starting from scratch. Also something on Miro. Yeah, you have a laser pointer, you have some fancy things. But I'm curious, if you're using ClickUp, are you using the whiteboards in ClickUp? Let me know in the comments below. Let's chat about this. Maybe I changed my mind and I will make a follow-up video and say, well, I realized I will add this now to the whiteboards. Because again, you know, the disconnect, if I open up the whiteboard, I would love to see now that this task is living on that whiteboard. That would be another advantage to really make these whiteboards shine more. And that's essentially the main reason why we are not using the whiteboards inside ClickUp yet. If they improve, it would make all the sense to have the work streams there, to have the connection to the main task or different lists. So, you know, when I copy the list, it is actually just bringing this. Why not showing the list name or something like that? Many things that I think there's a lot of potential that the ClickUp whiteboards have, but they are not delivering this yet. It's too basic. So if you want to see more details about how I use Miro for the work stream creation that I just mentioned here with ClickUp, then watch this video next.